hi friends uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the uh, the normal uh, table information uh, we are going to capture into xml uh, data type uh, so for this use case what i am doing is i am i'm creating a uh, object type so employee map object type i am creating for a sample three field uh, mm, uh, uh, so like uh, employee id and first name last name these three information only i'm going to capture as xml information and i'm going to, uh, I, i'm creating step two as a xml target table actually in this table only for the corresponding employee id what is the xml information i'm going to capture that data type is going to sit as xml type okay and once this step one and step two got completed step three just simply verifying for example for a given uh, employee id how the xml uh, been generated for the uh, the mapping object okay so to run and verify that this is how it will uh, the output you will see that okay the three three uh, uh, three information for the xml uh, type is ready okay the tag the main tag uh, uh, that uh, row set tag is created under that this is the uh the each tag like employee id first name and last name uh, with the object reference got generated and if you see the line number 20 uh, the sys underscore xml generation is a pre-built in provided by oracle itself okay uh, this is not the code written by me this is already available in the oracle okay so this is what it is in the step three and step four i have created a sample program because uh, this is uh, step three just to demonstrate only for one, one particular select statement I'm given. But if you automate this as a program, I've created a procedure file. So this is the procedure file I've created for your reference. In this actually I will accept employee ID as an input parameter. Based on the employee ID, it will generate the XML and this target table the, for the corresponding employee ID, the XML information will get loaded because we are we are capturing as a local variable the xml type you see that line number three and that we are assigning here and finally it will get inserted for uh, for just for a confirmation purpose line number 16 we are just uh, simply displaying that uh, loaded information what is been loaded okay uh, now getting back to the the subsequent steps so after step uh, four program got created step five i'm just running through the anonymous block okay uh, to verify uh, the the process is running as ex expected okay verifying okay so for that reason what i'm doing uh, so if if you go back to the program area and uh, sorry the open the procedure you can right click and run and click you can uh, select uh, you can uh, grab the plscale block statement that is what uh, actually i did uh, so once I did, and on top of it, line number three, I'm just putting additional set server output on, so that uh, the script information, uh, whatever the DBMS or debug information, so you are providing, it should neatly display when you run as a script. Okay, that's the purpose. So after uh, step five got completed, uh, okay, then step five, step six, we can generate. Like for, I can execute C step uh, five now here. See this is the output the xml so as i explained you before so, um, so it's selecting and and dumping the xml information into xml uh, emp uh, xml data type the local variable and inserting for the corresponding so and finally i'm uh, printing i said correct line number 16 that is what you are seeing here so uh, so uh, this is the confirmation it got successfully loaded into emp xml data table correct so let us do the final checkup line number 44 select statement so the record got loaded okay for the corresponding employee id and this is the employee xml for the three given information what we created as a object okay so this is what it is about the simple uh, use case uh, for our learning purpose you can fit into your real time uh, project anything if you want to so pure learning purpose i have created this video so any comments are welcome uh, please feel free to reach me out thank you very much for watching my video please subscribe my channel